back over this panel that we made yesterday. Ray, I think it was you that uh, asked the question about why is it we, we have to leave our rubber stuck to the rock, we can't pull it off before we make our hard mold and then just put it back on. If you look at this, I had the guy set the rubber back on here again. See how flimsy it is? See, see how it doesn't stick? It's not perfectly hugging that the rock. So as you go to hard mold this now, you're not going to get true form, true texture. It's not going to be the exact image that you took out in nature here. So with this just being laid back on, it's not going to replicate the exact form, shape, and texture. So like I said, when you're, when you're doing a cast, go ahead and put your rubber on let it dry, then put your hard mold over it, segment where you need to, and then once that dries, demold it and then pull it off and now you've got true form, true texture, exact replication of what you took out in nature. You know, if you're looking at, like this mold, uh, the rubber was put on the rock, then we built the hard mold over the rubber. Now if you look at this now and you put this together, there's no jiggling. This thing is tightly against the hard mold. So it's not like it's, uh, it's gonna give me a, a misshapen feature. And that's, that's key, so always do that. And in, in the sense of, uh, you know, like this rock, if you want true form, texture, you're gonna want to make, like I say, sure that you put the, the rubber on, you let that dry, put the hard mold over that, and in this case, segmented so you can get it off. Once that dries, you can demold, and then you're gonna have this exact texture, this exact form and shape, and everything's gonna be beautiful. Um, in the molded rock realm that we're in right now, I said to you guys that you need to charge for installed features about $150 per square foot. Now that's not what you tell your customers, that's what you guys are, are figuring when you're calculating or estimating the job. Anything that we make that has the molded look where it's replicating rock precisely is not like the hand manipulated rock which looks fakish in my opinion. It's not going to have this good look you're, you're going to charge about $50 a square foot. So as you start to do molded rock, keep that in mind. You're not going to charge $50 a square foot and, and be happy with what you make out of it. I don't care if it's like this panel here that's the limestone. This is molded rock. It's not like we hand manipulated it and, and made these rocks. They actually are molded off of real rocks and therefore they are exactly that. They're real rocks. So just keep that in mind. That's pretty much all i got to say about that.